Hello, CHA families. It's Miss Snyder. Today, I am bringing you your SCL lesson, and we are going to be making a sensory I spy jar to put into a calm down bin. Now, these I spy jars can be used as calm down strategies because they're going to allow your brain to focus, and you can also do your deep breathing when using it. So, the first thing you need for your calm down jar is going to be the rice that you put inside. So, you need to get some plain white rice or I have jasmine, but you want rice that's going to be light in color so it will take on the food coloring. So, you would do one cup of the jasmine or white rice. So, I'll go ahead and do that and you will put it inside a plastic bag. You can do a gallon baggie or the sandwich size. You'll take your measuring cup and you will fill it one cup of the rice. Go ahead and put that in your baggie. Next, we're going to add vinegar. The vinegar is going to allow the food coloring to soak into the rice. So you need just plain white vinegar. And you only need a small amount. You're going to do one teaspoon of the vinegar. So you go ahead and pour the vinegar in. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise it will go a long ways. Next, you are going to choose what color you want to color your rice. Now, um, I usually fill my I Spy bottles with different colors of rice, but for this example, I'm just going to show you one color. Um, but I would separate the baggies if you choose to do more than one color. So let's go ahead and we'll do blue with your food coloring. Again, you don't need much for it to go a long way, so you're just going to put a couple drops in, maybe three to four, a few. If you need to add more, you can. Make sure the bag gets closed. And then you just shake it and move it around until all of the rice has some of the color on it. So as you can see, our rice is starting to change. Get some of that at the bottom. This is really fun for little hands to do. All right, so after you feel like your food coloring has um, soaked through all of the rice, you're gonna put the rice and spread it out onto some parchment paper or a cookie sheet. And then you need to allow the rice to dry. If you put it outside in the sun, it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't choose to put it in the sun, give it about 30 to 45 minutes. After your rice is dry, it'll look something like this. Now I've done three different colors and mixed them together after they were dry. So now that we have our rice, ready to go, you will need um, to get a bottle that you're going to use for your I Spy jar. Now, I use the Voss bottles a lot. Um, I like them because of their shape, but you can also use um, peanut butter jars. Um, you can get containers from like the 99 cent store, any type of container that you like. Um, but you want to look for something that has a little bit wider of an opening so you can fit um, the materials that you're going to hunt for in your I Spy jar. So I'll go ahead and open this up. I also um, suggest using a funnel for this part because it can get messy if you don't. And you are going to just go ahead and start filling up your jar. Oops with your rice. You don't want to fill it up all the way because you need room for the rice to move when you're hunting for the objects that you decide to put in. So I have that. I left some space at the top. 
And then you need to collect some items around the house that you would like to put in your I Spy jar. So different things that I've collected are a small die, a paper clip, um, you can do buttons. I have a thimble for my sewing kit, penny, clips, things from um, different board games that you have. So anything that's going to be small enough to fit inside, it's totally up to you. That's the fun part, is searching around the house for things that you'd like to put in. So after that, you're just going to go ahead and add your items. All right. Now, I suggest, um, depending on who's going to be using this I Spy jar, to hot glue the lid on. Um, if it's going to be some of the younger kids, it's best to have it uh, hot glued on so we don't have a big mess of rice all over the house. So then you're going to go ahead and just close it, and then you want to shake this to get some of the I Spy materials scattered throughout. Now, another way to do this is to fill some of your rice into the jar and then place an item, then fill it again, then place an item if you'd like to do that. But then after it's complete, you will put this in your calm down corner if you have one at home. Um, I use these in my classroom. And what you do is when you're looking for the items, you can even have a little list that you put on here of items that you can search for, but you'll just move this around. And as you're looking for the items, you're gonna take a big breath in and a big breath out. And as you're doing this, you're getting your brain back in the upstairs brain where you do your best thinking. You're getting back ready to learn. All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial about I Spy Jars. Um, I hope you have fun making them and have a great day of learning. We miss you.